greetings from quest zero welcome back to the channel today we will look into how octave can be installed in windows now uh, octave is an alternative to matlab may not be completely uh, it can be replacing the matlab software but to an extent for the academic purposes octave can be used to program a few of the subjects that come across mechanical engineering so i'll be giving you a series of lectures on using octave programming uh, using octave for problems concerning mechanics a bit of uh, vibrations and finally uh, the things related to control systems from the mechanical perspective okay so let's see how octave can be installed in windows don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for continuous updates on the channel and if you like the content do like and share the video first i'll go to google gnu octave right uh, the one advantage of octave is it is an open source whereas the matlab you need to have the licenses proprietary licenses to work on it whereas octave is completely free source so i'll click on gnu octave from www.gnu.org and then there are the download links provided for downloading octave for different operating systems so if most of you are using uh, linux for example if you want me to show a tutorial on how to install octave in linux you can do mention it in the comments this will be duly followed okay but now since majority of my students actually uh, they use windows i am going to show how uh, octave can be installed in windows and then i will start with the tutorial so i'll click on download so download now gives us the option of downloading it for linux or mac or microsoft windows now for microsoft windows my system is a 64 bit system if you are not aware how how to know which bit system yours the windows are generally if it is in 8 or 10 it will be 64 bit system from the if it is older than windows 7 probably you need to check your uh, windows for 32 bit or 64 bit so for my 64 bit is enough or which is the recommended one for me and i'll click on the first link of dot exe file now it is a 300 mb file there is some amount of uh, time that it takes so i just click on save now i will be waiting for the download to complete So once it is downloaded, I'll be now executing the .exe file. It will ask for permissions first. So yes. Continue with it. Next. Next. Uh, you can choose the options if you want the desktop shortcuts or .m files with the octave. Like, 
make sure that all the checkboxes are checked and then I'll click on next and then finally install. Now it will take its own sweet little time to install. So once it installs, we will open the JN Octave and check. Once it is finished, it will ask you to run GNU Octave. I will check the box and then click on finish. Okay. Now I do have the Octave running. Next, this it is completely your wish to be part of the Octave community or not. And it is finished. So I do have all the windows that are required. So this completes the installation of Octave in Windows 10. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And stay tuned for the upcoming upcoming tutorials on Octave for mechanical engineers. Thank you.